Assalamu alaikum from Bosnia. Today I want to talk about what Muslims don't understand about Christians as a former Christian. Even though for the past 15 years I haven't done anything Christian related except going to some wedding or funeral. But I have been a Christian Catholic for my whole life. And my family was, was very Christian back then, like 30 years ago. I'm very old. Yeah, so I was actually pretty involved in the church i got baptized i have my all the things you need to have as a christian i think i, I forgot the names of these ceremonies but I actually had a new name like felix based on harry potter and then like <clears throat> you get anointed and all sorts of things right but i kind of left at the age of 16 like a normal teenager you start drinking and you kind of forget about your religion never came back yeah so the most common problem i see online when muslims try to talk to Christians is they always keep mentioning this concept of Trinity and who wrote the Bible and all that stuff and that's important but I'll tell you a little secret absolutely no Christian knows who wrote the Bible or what the Trinity is I can vouch with my money and heart if you ask my family members maybe now know because I tell them as a Muslim but if you go and ask a random Christian on the street of Slovakia who goes to church, his whole life Christian, if you ask them, do you believe Jesus is God? They probably will say no. Then you ask them, do you believe in Trinity? Do you believe in the co-eternal, co-dependent Father, Son and the Holy Spirit? Do you believe in that theology? They'll say, well, it's kind of confusing, so I just believe in God and Jesus as the Son of God. Maybe they'll say something like that and the Holy Spirit, but they'll, they'll, they'll have issues with the Trinity because we don't talk about this at church. No one talks about the, the Trinity at church. You just say like, you always mention the God, you mention Jesus, mention the Holy Spirit, but you, you, may, you must realize most Christians are not Christians by intellectual pursuit. They've been born into it just like Muslims. If they are born into their faith, they don't know what they're doing they'll leave Tawheed and so a Christian basically doesn't need to know about Trinity or who wrote the Bible I never knew this I didn't care like you're not gonna convince me even if you say oh you know the Gospels of Luke or John you know that the authors are anonymous like it's been quite <laughs> well researched and even the biblical scholars say that we don't actually know who is the author of these verses of these passages of the books within the bible um and did you, did you know that like the orthodox have different bible than catholics like they've taken out some passages and constantine took some passages out and you know like do you know how the trinity concept got made with the council of nicaea and not just the nicaea there were many councils council of nicaea wasn't the main one do you know that the Christmas are not actually a Christmas holiday. It's a pagan festival mixed up with Jesus's birthday, which was not on the 25th Most Christians do not know this, but most Christians don't care about this So this is something you need to understand. You will never Never convince a Christian with these arguments only if they are searching for the truth already But if they are comfortable with their faith It doesn't matter what you say. It's not gonna work. So you need to you need to go back I think I don't know how to do Dawah to Christians I've never been a great Dawah guy to Christian people uh, but I mean I think they just need to read the Quran to be honest and be open-minded they're open-minded they don't think it's written by the devil or something I think it should work because when you come across Tawheed oneness of Allah and you it clears up many things who's Jesus how Allah is unique in his attributes and nothing can be compared to him that's always how a Christian believes in God it's always how I as a child believed in God no Christian trusts church they are like hey church is not great and they know this so when you when Quran can clear this up and say okay you're a priest you're you know they hijacked the, the religion and buying of the sins and all that stuff it's all nonsense and you know worshiping Mary or worshipping statues is 
it's not the way to go. Which Muslims do as well. Muslims do shirk. SubhanAllah. Protect us all from this. Um, so we all do this as all people who believe in God. They all do shirk. But Muslims have it at least in Tawhid too. Do not do it even a lot of Muslims do shirk. Like a lot of them. Um, that means worshipping something else than Allah. So that means Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, any saint, object of worship, subhanAllah, any like, I don't know, talisman, all that nonsense, elephant, pig, cow, it's all forbidden, right? Because it doesn't make sense, because the only thing that matters, the only thing that created everything is Allah, not all these things, so if you want something, ask him. But. Put that aside, it's just something I wanted to share because I know how Christians think. I know I have them all in my family. You have to realize it's so difficult to change this because I'm in Bosnia now, but when I'm in Slovakia, on every, like here I can see everywhere mosques and stuff, but on every corner in Slovakia, on every corner, literally, is Jesus' statue, St. Mary, protecting the village cemetery Christian cemetery everywhere crosses everywhere on every hill cross so you see it's in it's in depth embedded in the society it's been there since 1200 years so every village has like three four churches just like here every small village has a mosque like it's just a different civilization it's just the Christians came first to to Slovakia and not the Muslims it's a deep-rooted thing within us and we just have to change it but i think most christians in the us around the world even in russia and all these places they have they they all know that there's just one god and all know these things but they don't want to dive deep into this because who wants to intellectually go and examine their beliefs like this is not a pleasant process because Rest assured, you believe something which is not true, 100%. I'm not sure if it's religion, but some belief you have is not right. And whenever you have to remove yourself from that belief, that's such a painful process, because your ego, everything attached to this belief has to go. Like when I was an atheist, I had to remove myself from that belief. It was horrible, because I was promoting atheism. I was living that lifestyle. And I was just like, ah. Uh, so you need to change when you change your beliefs. You see, so the way you change humans is you change their belief system. But who wants to do that? No one. <laughs> who wants to go deep into, reflect and study who wrote the Bible? Who the, not many people. So just give them Quran and pray for guidance and let's see what happens. But those are my two cents on the Christian Tao. My wife is Christian, she's right there. So. Assalamu alaikum from Bosnia and it's all good it's ex it's exactly like Slovakia this country it's just Muslim this is a Christian both Slavs crazy stuff see you next time